today our objective is I can count on and back by ones, tens, and hundreds. So it's the same objective as yesterday, but it's going to look just a little bit different today. So we're going to start with the number 384. And today to count on and back, we're going to look at adding 1, 10, and 100 and subtracting 1, 10, and 100. So each time we're going to go back to the number 384 to do each of these things. So let's start by building the number 384. So I have three hundreds, eight tens, and four ones. So the first one, if I'm gonna count on by one or add one, I'm gonna add one into the hundreds place. So my 384 plus one would be 385. So now let's go back to 384. I took away the one that I added, and this time I'm going to count on by 10, so I'm going to add 10. So if I add a 10 to 384, my number would be 394. Same thing, let's go back to our original number, 384. This time I'm going to count on by hundreds, or I'm going to add 100. So I'm going to add 100 in our hundreds place, and so now our number is 484. So now we're going to move into the subtracting or the counting back. So again, I'm going to start with my number 384, and this time we're going to take away a 1. When I take away a 1, I'm still left with 300s, 8 10s, but now I only have 3 1s, so 383. Now let's go on to taking away a 10 or counting back by 10. So now I'm going to take away a 10 and I'm left with 300s, 7 10s, and 4 1s. And finally let's count back by hundreds. So I'm going to start with 384. I'm going to take away a 100. So I'm left with 200s, 8 10s, and 4 1s. All right, so now it is your turn. So you're going to take the number 212, and you're going to write your answers for counting on by 1, counting on by 10, counting on by 100, counting back by 1, counting back by 10, and counting back by 100. If you want to do this with the hundreds, tens, and ones chart like what I did, you can do that. Or if you can do it mentally, you may also do it mentally. But please pause the video and take the time to do all of these counting on and counting back. And when you're ready, come back and we'll check your answers. Okay, do you have them all written out? You're counting on and counting back? Let's check to make sure you got the right answers. So if I start with my number 212 and I count on one, hopefully you got 213. Now if I start again with 212, this time we're counting on by tens, did you get 222? Now let's count on by 100, did you get 312? Now let's count back. If I start with 212 and I take away one or I'm counting backwards by ones, I got 211. Now let's count back by tens. I got 202, and finally, let's count back by 100s. Did you get 112? All right, let's try another one. You're gonna do this one on your own also. So now we're starting with the number 498. We're gonna count on by ones, tens, and hundreds, and we're also gonna count back by ones, tens, and hundreds. Again, if you want to do the hundreds, tens, and ones chart, you can do that to add in your ones, tens, and hundreds and take away ones, tens, and hundreds. Or if you can do it mentally, do it that way. But make sure you have an answer for each of these. So pause the video, and when you're ready, go ahead and play the video again so we can check your answers. Okay, when you added one, did you get 499? Now let's look at adding 10. So we're counting on by tens. Did this one trick you? This is a lot of the practice we did yesterday. It should have been 508. 
because when I added a 10, I had 10 tens. So you needed to regroup those 10 tens into 100. Hopefully that one didn't trick you. Next, when you added 100, you should have 598. All right, going back to 498, now we're going to start counting backwards or taking away. So when you took away 1, your answer should have been 497. When you took away 10, your answer should have been 488. And finally, when you took away 100 or counted back by 100, your answer should have been 398. All right, today for your independent practice, you're going to continue what we were working on yesterday, but also adding in the other way that this looks. So some of them, you're going to finish the number patterns. Remember to look for what place value is changing, the ones, the tens, or the hundreds. And is it counting on or counting back? That will help you fill in this blank. Also, some of them are going to today also say 10 less or maybe 100 less. But then also today we have the adding one or adding 10. So go ahead and complete these six problems on Edgenuity.